David in Spokane. Hey, Alan. Um, you know, these people seem to uh, lack the intelligence to realize that these subjects come up because of uh, the things that they do, the things that they say, they keep wanting to throw blame in the other direction, constantly saying that minorities uh, constantly talk about race and, and race baiting and, and uh, uh, racial conversation when we only talk about it when the right uh, does something to provoke it. Yes, and provoke it has, huh? Oh, like you wouldn't believe. I mean, I've been uh, involved in politics for a good part of my life. Uh, I, I'm, I'm related to a politician uh, who's a United States congressman. Um, he's uh, uh, gotten some of that race hate uh, his direction, and and uh, he's done well uh, through his years in, in Congress. Unfortunately, he's in a Congress right now that, that uh, isn't very popular, but he does what he can. He works hard. Um, he uh, has done a lot of things for his constituencies yeah. back in Texas, where, where I'm from. I'm now in Washington now, but uh, he continues to work hard. He lets those things lets those things go by the wayside, and but you know they, they just the people on the right just keep bringing it up and, yeah. and keep their actions speak for, for uh, themselves. They certainly do. Thank you very much, uh, Dave in Richmond, Virginia. Hi, Alan. Uh, i got to tell you, we don't often agree, or I don't often agree with uh, a lot of what you say, but I think you've nailed this one absolutely as far as uh, people not voting in their best interests. Have you seen the minority, specifically black unemployment rates of late? 8.3% across the country is is phenomenal if you if it compared to what it is in the minority and the inner city. And, rates and what, reason would, uh, what reason would African Americans have to vote Republican? Well, uh, meaning, well, anything, first off, anything would be better than what was the Well, no, it wouldn't. Uh, but tell, me, now, tell, me, tell me what policies do Republicans well, have you know, that would I, help them. I think, I think Jack Kemp was on the right road with uh, enterprise zones, um, the, the seeding neighborhoods. Well, tell me, and, uh, Jack Kemp's dead. Tell me about what current Republican has a policy that's good for a black person. Well, I think compared to what we have now. Well, give me a policy that they have that they're promoting that would be good for black people. Uh, uh, capitalization of people, quit devaluing the dollar. Gas prices are going. Gas no, no, we're talking about black people. You're saying on uh, the black people are voting against their best interest by well, voting you, Democratic. Well, Tell me what the Republicans have to offer them. What's that? Tell me what the Republicans have to offer them. Well, they, they, they opportunity. What, what, that doesn't mean anything. The word opportunity. How? Does it mean anything? Well, that's just no. That's it's just a, a word. A what does that mean? Of, Give me an example of a policy. It, what, it mean, what it doesn't mean. Of is opportunity is not a policy. It's a what word. What it doesn't mean is a policy because give me policy, give me an example of give me if I were a black person, tell me why I should vote for a Republican. Because they are far more prepared. Than give me an example, gentlemen. Prepared the, how? The, the, Lower the regulation. What okay, regulation? regulation? What regulation are they going to lower to help me? I'm a black guy. What regulation are they going to lower to help me? The, uh, 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 the obstacles to... What obstacles? To, you haven't been able to say one concrete thing that they well, would do. You're telling well, you, me that blacks you, are voting against their best interest to be voting Democratic. Yes, you haven't been able to tell me you, one... Give me one concrete reason they should vote Republican. Concrete reason. But for the, uh, the opportunity to live the American dream. Uh, well, that's, that's not that's not that. a concrete reason. <laughs> they haven't helped anybody with live the American dream. The economy is getting better. The job numbers that came in today uh, continue to improve. That means improve for everybody regardless of race. Yes, blacks have a higher unemployment rate. That's often because of poverty. It's for a lot of reasons. But I don't know what Republican policy is being promoted that would help black people in particular. And that guy could not tell me one, other than throw a bunch of broad generally, generality type gobbledygook at me. Opportunity, okay. How? You know, more of the same? Keep lowering tax rates for rich people? How did that do anything? Uh, you know, you have to admit the things are getting better in this country, and they're getting better slowly, but they're getting better uh, because of the policies that this president has been able to, in, in, you know, enact. They're not getting better because anything Republicans have done. What have they done? 
except continue to promote the policies that got us into the mess in the first place. I don't know what they've done. They keep promoting. They've got one idea, a lower or two ideas, lower taxes and less government regulation. Less government regulation has led to uh, the financial crisis and lower taxes has led to increase increasing deficit and debt. So I, I, I don't know what what new idea they have that's going to would have saved the economy. I, 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 no one can tell me that. No one can answer that. I'm waiting for the answer. Uh, we are, and if you have it, uh, my number is 877-4-ALLEN, 877-367-2526. And uh, we'd love to have you join us online as well at Allen, A-L-A-N, dot com, where all kinds of stuff goes on. We're constantly posting things that wind up as fodder for this show. Uh, next week on the program, Monday night, as a matter of fact, now he is... A public enemy number, certainly in the top ten, to the right. Uh, why the right despises him, I don't really understand. He's, in fact, one of the most religious presidents we've ever had, Jimmy Carter. In fact, he has uh, looked at the Bible and talked about where policy and the Bible intersect and how it has informed him and his career. We will talk with Jimmy Carter on Monday night. I, uh, I'd like to ask him, and perhaps I will, if he has a sense of why he is so despised by the right wing. You know, when the right wing hates somebody, <laughs> they go nuts. Uh, Jason in uh, Bay City, Michigan. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. I'm just saying you said what what what, what policies are holding to have, what, what policies do Democrats have that are well, that, I didn't, I'm, beneficial I'm, I'm, to I, black people? Uh, well, uh, you've, I'm asking you. Tell me what policy Republicans have. They're the ones looking to attract uh, black voters Tell me what they're going. What what policy do they have that appeals to them? Can you I, name one? Seems like a seems like a standoff. Can you name one? Can you? No, I asked you. Can what's you the, name what's one? The Republic, what's the Democratic policy? Well, I think the improving people? economy, uh, of course, helps everybody. Uh, affirmative action. Mar- affirmative mar- action has mar- helped Africa. Well, give me give me an well, affirmative action has helped black people. Give me one thing Republicans have done that helped black people. I think the fact that if you want to have people that you know, so give me a policy. Give me, give me, g- well, no, no, give me a, po- give me, give me a policy they have. I'm not up to date on that. I'm just okay. Saying. Thank you. But I'm supposed to give you policies. All right. Affirmative action has been one. Uh, programs that have helped the poor because we have more poverty among blacks. Uh, the jobs programs that they have. Alternative minimum tax um, that Clinton enacted. Um, but Bill Clinton, in fact, created more jobs for black and Hispanic youth than any, any previous president. We will come back uh, with the Friday night free-for-all. We are at 877-4-ALLEN. We take the calls in order as they come in. You set the agenda. We do not. The rest of the show is up to you tonight. Make it count at 877-367-2526. You're unbelievable. 